Hi everybody, uh, Dr. Anderson here. Hope you're all doing good. I'm, I'm getting on here real quick to talk about something called soul oil sling entrapment. And uh, I want to explain what the soul oil sling is. And and if you're listening uh, on here on YouTube, this has to do with neuropathy, restless leg. So neuropathy and restless leg can greatly be infected by a nerve tunnel called the soul oil sling. And, and when you listen to my videos, a lot of you might already know that there are five tunnels that I always talk about that not for everybody, but for some people can become tight, just like having carpal tunnel in the upper extremity. Uh, these tunnels become tight and there's five of them from the knee down. And most doctors you're gonna see for neuropathy restless legs do not really look at the peripheral nervous system that much. And they're not going to be looking at what I'm gonna tell you really. So one of those tunnels is called the soleal sling and it can become tight and it can create the symptoms of restless legs. And so let me describe what the soleal sling is. If you look at your leg in the upper part of your calf, that big calf muscle that you see in your leg, that's the gastrocnemius muscle. And then deep underneath that, right up against the leg bone, which we call the tibia, is a flat muscle called the soleus. The soleus, just like the gastrocnemius, inserts into the Achilles tendon and in some ways it helps you move up and down on your foot and stabilizes your ankle so you don't just fall forward. So the soleus muscle ends, if you put your hand on the back of your calf or the back of your knee and go down maybe about five, four or five, maybe six finger widths down from the back of your knee joint towards your heel. In that area is where the soleal muscle ends and there's a sling that goes crossways across your calf where the muscle ends. And beneath that sling travel the main artery that goes to the bottom of the foot, the main nerve that goes to the bottom of the foot, and the main vein that goes to the bottom of the foot. And so there's a lot of important anatomy going on there and that sling can become tight. It's no different than having carpal tunnel syndrome in your hand. In fact, in the arm, the equivalent tunnel in the arm is called the pronator teri carries muscle or uh, tunnel. So how do you know if you have this? Well, if you get burning, tingling, numbness on the bottom foot, that's a possibility. It could be from the soleal sling. Uh, you might have cramping in your calf, cramping, achy, just bad pain in the back of your calf that you get at night or during the day. That also can be a sign of tightness of the soleal sling. Uh, if you're old, especially if you're older, and you're finding as you get older, you don't have that bounce in your gait. When you go up and down stairs, it's a little harder to push off, you know? Like I sometimes have people stand, hold on to a counter or something, and just stand on one foot, which I'm doing right now, I'm standing just on my left foot, and see, you know, go up and down. And some people can barely do two or three of those. That, it can be a sign that that nerve tunnel is tight. So, it's a tunnel that a lot of people don't know about, and we do surgery on this tunnel probably every week we average, you know, one of these a week we, we see that we can help people with restless legs, we can help people with neuropathy uh, by opening this up. So you could have symptoms of neuropathy, which is burning, tingling, and numbness, maybe weakness, and over here you can have their symptoms of restless legs. Also the tunnel might have an impact on those symptoms, which would be creepy crawly sensations, uh, jerkiness, jerking at night, uh, creep, uh, what else, cramping, and just that anxiousness, you have to get up in the middle of the night because you are just got to get up and move. And I think uh, that's a whole other discussion as to why that is. I think we have another video on that. But the soleal sling is a very important nerve tunnel. And there's, like I said before, not many doctors evaluate or even operate on it. And uh, it's probably been known about, about, I'm roughly estimating about nine years ago was when we first started paying attention to it, and in some cases, decompressing, opening up the tunnel because it becomes too tight. So that's really about it. Know that there's non-surgical options too. There's stretching you can do, I think. There's nerve gliding. Anything that you do that stretches your calf, if you think you might be getting this, it might help a little bit. Uh, maybe taking some magnesium can help with the symptoms a little bit there too. Uh, but just know, that don't just assume you got restless legs, there's nothing you can do. Don't just assume that you got supposedly neuropathy, there's nothing you can do. If you have these symptoms that I mentioned up in the calf, a lot of it could because, be, be because you have tightness in that, in that nerve tunnel area, again, called the soleal sling. 
So I'm trying to think if there's anything else. That's really about all I have to say. We do just know that here at Anderson Podiatry Center for Neuropathy and Chronic Pain, we do other treatments that aren't surgical. We do a treatment called E-STEM and we do laser, which can also be very beneficial because we really talk to our patients about which approach. But the big key thing I want you to understand, I'm just trying to educate you know, you folks that are listening to me out there, we've got a lot of people more and more that are, are subscribing and I, please ask that you subscribe and give me a like. Really appreciate that so that more people can understand about this. I'm, I'm doing this because I love it, I'm passionate about it and I want to teach more people about it so that you, wherever you are in the world or in this country, you can seek out attention from a doctor like myself or one of my colleagues that can help you with your restless legs or your neuropathy and really help you with a nerve tunnel like this because again, a lot of doctors aren't aware of it. So thank you for watching and uh, I like to teach and if you like to learn, just hang out and every once in a while I'm gonna give you a video uh, to watch of, of me or my patients and uh, particularly in the world of nerves. So hope you're all having a good, a good day and uh, I'll talk to you again sometime. Thank you for watching.